Lights. Stage. Satire. Cabaret traditions date back centuries. Performance ensembles regaled small crowds with music and dance over food and drink. But conventional routines evolved into amusing political and cultural commentary by virtue of virtuosos like Fritz Grunbaum, a cabaret pioneer who transformed the art of mainstream theater. In 1906, Grunbaum set his sights on Vienna. His wit and wordplay landed him the role of master of ceremonies for a cabaret called Die Helle. The show was tucked away in the basement of the famed Theater an der Wien, and the subterranean stage aligned perfectly with his underground art. The review seized the attention of theater directors in Vienna and the bustling city of Berlin, and his star continued to rise on both stage and screen. Grunbaum contributed to over 10 films, but his investment in the arts extended beyond performance. During this time, Grunbaum acquired a robust collection of Austrian modernist art, including over 80 works by Egon Schiele. Schiele's study of the human figure was a radical departure from artistic tradition, much like Grunbaum's own daring brand of theatrical provocation. As unit after unit of Hitler's mechanized army rolls on into Vienna, sharply recalls a book written 14 years ago. Following the Nazi seizure of power across Central Europe, his bold criticism earned him a different kind of stage. He became a target of the German Reich. Before his death in 1941 at a Nazi concentration camp, Grunbaum, gravely ill, delivered his final performance for the prisoners at Dachau to spread a little happiness. Courageous cheer, the core of Fritz Grunbaum's legacy. In 2005, 64 years after his death, a group of cabaret celebrities awarded him a star on the Cabaret Walk of Fame, a distinction reserved for only the most powerful players in theater. <laughs>